here, right outside Michigan, got my Nebraska stuff on. Crisis Center, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. All right, Nebraska plus 31. A lot of Husker fans, a lot of Husker fans, Michigan fans. Let's call Spade a Spade, a lot of Husker fans. I love Nebraska plus 31. Do you see the snow? You can't see it, but you can see it in my hair. Lots of snow, it's gonna be an ugly, ugly game. I love Nebraska plus 31, I love it. Not only because I'm an alumni, because I love it. Book it. All right, minute before kickoff. All right, it's not good. I'm gonna be honest with you. We need to cover 30. It is ugly, it's snowy, it's wet. My feet are wet, I got two pairs of socks on. I'm soaked, I got three pairs of under one. I'm soaked, it's cold, it's rainy, it's gonna be ugly. Huskers, cover 30, please. These Michigan fans are being mean, being very mean. <laughs> Go Big Red. Good start. Good start. Good start. What are you doing, Blake Corum wants the ball carrier. You got seats. You got pads. Yeah, they're wet. <laughs> you got a towel. No. That's gonna be a long day. <laughs> All right, end of the first quarter. Only seven to nothing. Uh, only seven or nothing. Only seven or nothing. The fact that Nebraska's quarterback Chubba Purdy is still in, kind of a joke, but it's fine. It's fine. Seven or nothing. Still covering 31. We're okay. We're okay. We can't move the ball. We can't stop the ball. But not the worst, right? Fourteen or nothing. The score is Michigan. Fourteen. Hey, Huskers recovered. And again, the only problem is that we can't move the ball down the field. Sucks. That sucks. But hey, Michigan fans, very nice. That's positive. They let me laugh at myself. It's good.
attempt a field goal. We scored points! 14 to 3. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. This is ugly. Ugly. Kind of like my hair. But hey, we scored points. Go, Big Red! I love it. I love it. We scored points. That's all that matters. Go, Big Red! Look at that. Look at that. Go, Big Red! We scored points. 14 to 3. I love it. We're not dead. We're dead. That's where we're at. Woo! Alright, uh, 17 to 3 at halftime. This is, this is a dream for Nebraska. If we come in that second half and like get the quarterback going and keep the defense just where they're at, we're gonna cover. That's all we're rooting for. Just rooting for the cover. Let's go. Right? Here we go, it's up. I told you we had to scoot up. Kendall. I told you we had to scoot up. All right, give it a little more juice. Here we go. Attempt number two. Come on, Jolie. 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 A little bit louder, fans. Make it a little bit louder for attempt number three. God, this sucks. On the third quarter. You hear the music? Fourth quarter, 24 to 3, 21 point game. I still have the Huskers plus 31, so I'm still feeling decently hopeful. We need one drive. We just need one drive, people. But Michigan is good. Really good. The kick is good. The score is Michigan. 31-3, fourth quarter. Now sweating the uh, cover. God, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> I just took it down. I said, could you imagine being from California and be like, I'm going to pass it. 31-3, five minutes ago. Uh, we need to stop. I feel like I need air to breathe. This is really bad. I think so. What about Ohio State? <laughs> oh my god, we need him to miss it. We need him to miss this. We need him to miss this. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. He's gonna miss it, Moody. Miss it. Miss it, Moody. Miss it. Miss it. Financially, that would be way better. That's why you buy the half a point. Because we gotta push. Get church. I'm <laughs> Come on, throw a Hail Mary. Do it for me. One more time. 
more time. Run. Get the corner. Thirty-four three. We pushed. My feet are frozen. I'm cold. I just got chirped by a three-year-old. It's been tough. It's been tough. But hey, it was a sick stadium, sick experience. But uh, let's go to the studio. Hopefully, I'm warmer. And we'll talk a little bit more. Yeah, what's up, past me? Yeah, no, that was the coldest I've ever been. Uh, I've been to like a hundred games in like November and December. But, like, that was, like, a different type of cold. I'm living here in Phoenix, Arizona now, and I think it's because I've gone from, like, Phoenix weather to, like, Michigan weather. And it was – the high was 34, and it was snowy. Before I even got to the stadium, my shoe was full of water. I mean, it was pouring down snow, and it was rough. I had two pairs of socks on, and my foot was just a big sponge, it felt like. It was terrible. Uh, and it was cold, and it was snowy. But it was awesome. It was an awesome, awesome experience. It was so much fun. And I think the Michigan fans were very nice to us because they felt pity on us. But I digress. Let's get into the rankings of what I feel uh, the experience was in full. First, the fan experience. It was amazing. The stadium is amazing. And if you're an actual football fan, I wouldn't even say a college football fan. I feel like if you're just a football fan, this is a stadium you have to go to. I've been to Lambeau Field before. I've been to some other cathedrals in college football. Neyland Stadium, I would put up there. This is one of them. You just walk in and you can feel the history. And you can feel the pride that these people have for that stadium. I was surprised about how quiet it was. Granted, it's Nebraska, and it's a joke. Uh, we're really bad right now, and we're 31-point dogs. So it felt quiet, and by the fourth quarter, everybody was gone. But it is a cathedral, and it has that magic inside of it. You can feel it. It's palpable when you walk in. I have to give the fan experience overall like an 8.6. Um, it is amazing. It's amazing. And you might be saying to yourself, oh, you're Detroit Pierce, and you're wearing Nebraska stuff, and you're rooting for Nebraska over Michigan. Yeah, I have I went there. I'm a huge Nebraska guy. I, I root for Nebraska just as much as I root for Detroit. Um, but, you know, there's more content with Detroit sports. I mean, look at all those teams versus Nebraska. Uh, anyway, not the point. I, it was just an absolute great, great experience. A lot of fun. I, I, would, give, I would give it an 8.6 overall, the fan experience. All right, now let's go to the team. They are clearly the third best team in the country. I don't think they can beat Ohio State, especially at Ohio State or even at Michigan. Michigan doesn't have that like oomph to me where they could just like bury a team and just drag them out to the deep water and because that's how they want to win. They want to play you rough and tough all game long. Uh, I just don't think that they can do that against the best of the best. I don't think they can do that against Georgia. I don't think they can do that against Ohio State. But I do think they could do it against anybody else in the country. Uh, and I think the fans even talked about that. I've talked to some fans, and they were like, yeah, we're not winning the national championship this year. If you have that mentality that you can't win a national championship, you can't beat Ohio State, especially at Ohio State. I don't think that they uh, – So, but I would make the case that if they lose close to Ohio State – that they should be the fourth team in. They should be allowed in and play Georgia. Um, I'd give the team like an 8.3, 8.4. I think they are the third best team in the country. I think they're really good defensively. Their offense seems suspect at times when you force them to throw the ball. Um, play calling is interesting at times. I had a lot of fans complain to me about Jim Harbaugh, and they're still calling for him. to. They're like, I had a fan come up to me and say, yeah, no, uh, if – Jim Harbaugh was fired at the end of the year. I wouldn't be upset. And to me, that's just like, what? Speaking about the fans, I they were all very nice to me. They were all very nice to me. I, I was in Nebraska stuff, and I think it was because we were 31-point dogs. But uh, I can tell. I can tell that they can be very mean if you're like Ohio State or Michigan State or a Notre Dame fan. Um, but from my experience alone, I thought they were extremely nice. They were willing to laugh with me. They were willing to laugh uh, at me and with me. I would poke fun at Michigan, and they would laugh with me. And then I poked fun at Nebraska, and they'd laugh with me. I had a great experience. Nothing really bad throughout the whole entire time. Honestly, the only thing I have a problem with with Michigan fans is that they've never won a legitimate national championship since the Eisenhower administration. And um, – I'll be honest with you, you still want to fire Jim Harbaugh? Really? We're still trying to fire Jim Harbaugh? 
it just feels like an inflated ego. I would give the fans a 7.8. I think they're extremely nice, but I can see how they can be very, very mean in the wrong places. I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of comments on that later. But overall, uh, from – and then, oh, I forgot about the campus. The campus. I think the campus is so, so, so nice. I loved the campus. Uh, I think it's one of the best campuses I've ever walked on, if I'm going to be honest with you. The buildings are beautiful. The campus flows very well. I love the campus. It's nice and big. I gave the campus like a 9.3. I think the campus is gorgeous, and I went there, and I was like, oh, this is why people come to Michigan. I'm like, this is – awesome i went through the student union i thought that was cool i thought it was great i thought it was it was just a nice like old school campus and an old school uh university i I thought it was beautiful i gave it a 9.3 but overall i'm gonna have to give this whole entire experience a 9.1 if it was nicer weather and the huskers were good i think it's like a 10 honestly uh a 9.1 feels very fair and if you're a college football or a football fan you gotta go to ann arbor it's so easy to do uh, and next time I'm going to try to do it so I can go to a Michigan game and a Lions game because if you stay in Ypsilanti, which is where we stayed, it's a perfect in-between because it's like a 15-minute drive to Ann Arbor and it's like a 30-minute – man, my lights are going out. It's like a 15-minute drive to get to Ann Arbor. You good? It's like a 15-minute drive to get to Ann Arbor and it's like a 30-minute drive to get to Detroit. It's a perfect spot to stay. Uh, wonderful experience. Love Ann Arbor. I love Michigan. And honestly – if I could move, if I could convince my wife to move from Phoenix, Arizona, in this beautiful weather that we're having in December, and exp- and then like live in Michigan, I would do it in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. I love that state. I love the city. Um, but yeah, overall, great experience. Nebraska. We'll be back. We'll be back with Deion Sanders, Matt Rule. Uh, Lance Leopold, Urban Meyer, Lane Kiffin. I'm just going through all the coaches. All of them will make them a top 10 team in the next five years. Guaranteed. (laughs) All right. God bless. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you like and subscribe uh, and hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you get a notification whenever I post a video. And if you like and subscribe, it's completely free, especially if you comment uh, Michigan is better than Nebraska. If you comment Michigan is better than Nebraska, it is free for today and today only. So thank you so much. God bless. And go Nebraska, or we'll be back soon.